said there was only four buildings here when we first bought it, and then uh, there was another 13 buildings that used to be here, and we've moved them back in. They, they were up in the back canyons, and so we've moved them back in. But uh, we just had to restore a lot of stuff. And uh, I collect a lot of old rusty stuff, and so it was right up my alley. It was, it was pretty much abandoned when I was, uh, when we first bought it 19 years ago. Um, we've had to restore all the big buildings. We brought a lot of small ones in. And uh, um, it's just been an ongoing deal. Every year we do something new. I've worked in the mines before up at the test site, you know, um, where they set off atomic bombs and things like that. And so uh, I knew a little bit about mining, but I learned most of it while I've in the last 19 years. I, you know, it's just the oldest and richest coal mine in southern Nevada, you know, there's, you know, so there was no towns to back it up, so it was more of a big man camp for probably 40 years before it became a town, and so just the remoteness of it, you know, the nearest sheriff was, was 200 miles away and not even a killing would bring him out here, so it's just a, a bad place to be, you know. If you ever got hurt out here in the old days, you were, it was over for you. These guys, there's no power, there's no electricity, you know, or water had to be shipped in, you know. It was, it was tough in the early days. You're in, you're in the middle of nowhere out here in the early days. It gets a little bit bigger every year. You know, we're not going to get rich anytime soon, but we're making a living off of it. natural bridges in here so if you guys look there's one right here you know this is just kind of holding the two the two pieces of mountain apart right here there's one there one there there's, you know, there's four of them kind of going through here just holding the rock apart but uh, we went down the ladder and there was groundwater down there and we just had flashlights you know there's no electricity or anything out here and uh, me and my dad were actually walking down there and just looking for ore cars and old old stuff and uh, he's walking and actually uh, there's a little kind of goes under under the rock right there well, there's a, there's a shaft that goes down to the 400. You know, I want it to keep its originality. You know, I don't want it to turn it into Disneyland. You know, that, it might be hard to stop that from happening, but, uh, you know, I want to keep it real, you know. So that's the way, that's the way we wanted to keep it. <laughs>